Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, 4 5 2020. Um, it is 8 o'clock in the morning. The dogs wake me up every morning about this time on the weekends. Uh, I just ate breakfast. I have my coffee. And I kind of want to show you this mug. It's got my last name on it. Uh, my parents gave me this mug. And it's kind of a cool little story. Um, they had their heating, like HVAC system in their house uh, replaced. And this was a little while ago. And the company, as a thank you, basically commissions a local um, pottery person. I don't know the technical name for somebody that does pottery work. But um, has a local person hand make these coffee mugs with the uh, client's last name on them. Um, so my parents got a couple of them. Only my dad drinks coffee. So they gave me the other one. And that's my mug of choice for this morning. I got my Dunkin' Coffee back. So I'm excited about that. I've been without my Dunkin' Coffee for a few weeks now. Um, I usually just order it on Amazon. But with everything going on in the world, um, Amazon is delayed on shipping. But finally came in this week. Just like, actually it was yesterday. So... Super excited to have my Dunkin' Coffee back. If you guys ever, you know, if you watch the other vlog videos, I always stop to get Dunkin' when I'm traveling. But anyways, um, so it's Sunday. Sunday's kind of a, a relaxing day for me normally. Um, the post office is closed on Sundays, so I don't have to physically go to the post office. Um, but what I do is I fulfill any orders that were placed last night, um... The post office locally here closes, I think, at 3 o'clock on Saturdays. So any orders placed up until, like, 2 on Saturdays um, still ship out the same day. Anything after that, I box up today. And I'm not really in a rush to do anything with those, being that I can't ship them out until tomorrow. But um, I typically try to keep up on all the orders. So first thing in the morning, I package them and get them ready to go out. And, um... So I just did that. All right, guys. So I have Aqua Pros. That's Mike uh, playing, so I can listen to his channel while I'm working. Um, I met Mike in person at Aqua Shella, and he was a great guy. So if you're not subscribed to him, search Aqua Pros. Give him a sub. So this is the first time I've turned these lights on, and this is a lot of light power because there's not much depth to it. So these lights will not be on all the time. I'll probably put these on the Wi-Fi switch and set these just to run for a few hours a day. Um, I definitely need to go back and finish painting these because now that the light's hitting it, the backgrounds look like complete crap. But it's a good starting point to give me an idea. Um, the lighting just looks awesome. I, I know, you know, ignore the backgrounds. I will get that fixed. I'll do that later today. But man, once I get some plants in here, these betas are going to look awesome under this lighting um this is the first time i've used this brand shop light i've used other shop lights before but it looks really good i was afraid it was going to be too yellow and it's it's not the super bright white that leds would put out i mean these are led but not like a led uh, aquarium light um these are definitely probably at least 5k on the kelvin range and um yeah they're looking good um, I got my spool of air line out. I'm going to start running the water lines from up top down. So that way I can see if the power head down there is powerful enough or if I need to get a different pump. But that's where I'm at. Alright guys, so I got the, the water lines ran. And, um, you know, they all come off the fill pipe. And I pre-ran the ones for the top tanks. And I just put a um valve on them so shut them so these lines are ready for the next row of tanks and i'm missing one tank this is the one that i accidentally cracked when i was drilling it for the bulkhead but i also pre-ran the line and just put a valve on to turn it off so everything's ran and the way i did this i have the line it comes down the back side of the rack and then goes up and it basically hoops through these grids and then the tank above it 
kind of holds it in place. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the correct flow or not. Um, I might have to put a valve on each one of these so that way I can adjust the flow or I have a ton of drip emitters, I can do that. So I just want to get the water lines to these guys and then that way I can put water in the sump and see if that pump will work. All right, I'm filling the tank. This is that garden hose that everybody's seen. that comes from my fish room that I'm able to fill up all the tanks in my house. And this is how I'm filling up the sump. I'm gonna go ahead and put this pump on a Wi-Fi switch so that way I can control it. So if anything happens, I can just turn it off real quick from my phone. So I'm gonna plug this into the power strip, pair this to the network, and make this sump a smart sump. Look at that, guys. The power head is powerful enough to get water to every tank. And then, you know, this is a decent amount of flow. Um, well, it's, it's not really that decent, but um, it would be great. And if I need to, you know, slow the flow down, I can uh, put valves on it. I need to see why that guy's got air. Uh-oh, we're losing flow. Checking for leaks. Okay, so here's the return. So what I can do is start to close this. And that's increasing the pressure to these. So I'm leaving a little bit open. But now I need to, you know what? It's getting air because I need to top off the sump. So let me uh, do that. All right, it's up and running. So one thing I noticed is that at the normal flow rate, the overhead or overhead, the overflow strainers are basically at max capacity. Um, they're just at the top. So what that's telling me is that max flow, the holes in the strainers I made are too small. Um, I'm just letting this run to try to siphon out all the dust and particles. And then um, you can see like all the floating dusty guys. Uh, I'm gonna let this run and try to clean out that water. And then once I dial back the flow rate, the strainer should be fine. But I do have my very first fittings leaking a little bit. And I noticed it dripping down, so I need to fix that. I think all these other fittings are okay, but that first one is dripping. So I, I noticed some drips right here. But so far, so good. It's It's got some noise. Um, you know, like water falling type noise, but you know, it's not terrible. I can uh, soften that noise up. I can even put some sponge inside this tube so when the water drops down, it buffers that noise. Um, if that's the noise, or maybe it's just the, the water coming into the sump, but so far so good. I need to fix one leak and keep on rocking. See here, you can see that's the top of the bulkhead. And it's fully underwater, so those holes are just a little too small. But that's at maximum flow right now. All right, so I let it run for about half an hour um, at its maximum flow rate, and the overflows did fine. Uh, they were able to keep up, but you can see the water line. The water line got to the top of the overflow, but never went above that. I'm actually 3D printing a version two with bigger holes in it. Um, I just took all the overflows out, um, so that way it, it can skim the top surface better. And then I also installed um, drippers. These are one gallon per hour drippers. Um, that's what I use on rack system one. I have hundreds of these. So it will move one gallon of water through each tank in an hour. So that will slow down the flow rate um, for the betas, but will keep you know circulation going. And then I moved them slightly above water level for now. Um, I'll have to fine tune that. I want it above water level so that way it keeps the surface clean, keeps that protein film from, um, you know, building up on the top. But I don't want it 
super high above to where it's, you know, like how it's now it's splashing out, but that's because the water level's low. So I'm gonna let this run. I drained off um, almost 10 gallons worth of water. So this system's pretty big. So that's 10 gallons and I gotta do the math and find out how much each one of these tanks holds. Um, but it's, I'm guessing it's a couple gallons a piece. So I'm gonna let these fill back up. So that way I can set the level in the sump because I need to plan for power outages um, if that pump turns off, it's going to drain this whole tube worth of water back into that sump. So I want to make sure I don't overflow it. And the level's kind of high right now. So that's why I drained all these down. I'm going to let these fill back up. And once these are topped off, um, then I can set that level. And um, I need to plant all these. I, I plan on planting them. I'll probably do like Anubius or Java Fern in the back. And that will help kind of hide the background, hide the overflow. Um, and help reduce nitrates as well. All right, there's version two. So the diameter of the holes is substantially bigger. This definitely won't have any issues with uh, water flow. And this will be better anyways. Um, so little particles, plant matter and stuff like that won't clog as easily. So unfortunately I had printed off version one for every single tank. Um, Typically I prototype and test. I never got to the full on test. As soon as I found that these fit like perfectly, I printed off the rest. So now I'm gonna reprint them in this version. All right, the next project I wanna knock out, I bought two of these pools, 86 inches by 59 by like two feet tall. Um, it's roughly, I think 500 gallons. I'll have to double check the math on it, but bought two of these. This is where last year's pool was. I just drained what was sitting in it. That's why this is all wet. I need to broom all this off and then set this up. All right, I got all the pieces out and it's going to go right here. So let's get it done. All right guys, so I got some water in it. Um, this pool is designed to have a pump. I blocked that port off. That's gonna be a lower water change port. I just looped the hose up and over. That's gonna be the level that I'm going to use to set the level of the pond. And um, I'll just have that drain out into the yard. But it's set up. I think I won't wait to set up the second one, but um, I got water in this. I put water in it just so this doesn't blow around. And I'm going to let this water age. Alright, this has been running for a while. Um, the sump level is set. I can actually add a little bit more water. It's um, just below the halfway line on that. Um, now I'm just going to let it run. And it will clear out the water. And yep. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for this vlog video for today. Um, everything's done that I wanted to get done. I didn't plant the beta tanks yet. I will do that this week and let the water keep filtering uh, any fine particles out. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you made it to this point, you're just hardcore like in my daily vlog videos because they're, they're nothing too too fun just kind of showing what i've been doing but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one peace